George H. Smith, Atheism, The Case Against God, page 13. Uh, he defines implicit atheism as the absence of theistic belief without a conscious rejection of it. Implicit atheist is a person who does not believe in God, but who has not explicitly rejected or denied the truth of theism. Now, reading those, the first time I read it, I, I didn't understand why he had a separate definition at the bottom. And I had to read it a few times to figure out how he came to that definition. And that difference between his thinking and my thinking, I think is the problem, is, is the, the central problem uh, of disagreement that we have. Uh, the problem is that he's defining an atheist as a follower of the doctrine of atheism. He's putting emphasis, or emphasis, he's putting priority on the ist instead of on the a. So I think most people are putting priority on, maybe priority isn't the right word, but I'm going to use it for now. Most people put priority on the negation and not on the end part. So an atheist would be a not theist. Not a, an atheist is a follower of atheism. So I think that's where where we're differing on on why our definitions are coming out different. And and now I I get I cuz you said before that you followed a doctrine and, and that made absolutely no sense to me. And and now it does make sense because how you're defining it, how he's defining it, you're defining it as as a a doctrine of atheism not as a negation of a theist so so you're not following a doctrine of theist of, the, of theism basically Dude, I, I hope I made myself clear. I, I tend to not be clear sometimes, but I, I'm, I tried really hard this time. Um, but I think that's our point of contention. And uh, right or wrong, I think that's where our, our differences lie in. Uh, what takes priority or, or preference uh, or whatever other word I'm, uh, that I'm probably not thinking of right now is the the um, the ist the the suffix taking precedence or is the prefix taking precedence and how do we find that out because in usage it seems like a lot of people that I know that are atheists are are putting the precedence on the prefix so how do we settle this who who do we uh, uh, or, well, I, I'm sure you have a lot more resources than I do. So, uh, but this is something, uh, or or maybe you've you've studied this, uh, and, and what people are normally doing is is not, or what people are doing to this word is not in the norm, but. I couldn't find anywhere online that stated whether or not the prefix or the suffix got priority. So I'm not even sure if there's a rule for that. So have uh, philosophists or philosophists, <laughs> philosophers been uh, doing some or or I don't know. Or is that has that been the point of contention between philosophers? I'm I'm not even sure. Probably not. Maybe it's just a different uh, different definitions. I'm not sure. But 
for me, that was that seems like the problem. It, it seems like the problem between him and me, and and possibly you and me is the fact that that I'm putting the precedence on the A. So instead of carrying the ist over from theism, I'm not an I'm not an atheist with respect to atheism. I'm an atheist with respect to a theist. I'm a person that doesn't follow the doctrine of theism. And atheism is basically not the doctrine of theism or, or being without the doctrine of theism. So, but it's the precedence I'm putting on is on the A, not the ism or, or the ist. And maybe I'm putting the precedence on that because it comes first. So, so I, that's, that's something we've got to figure out. Or we don't have to, but it would be nice. Okay, ciao.